Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. The following video is for class 3, subject general science, chapter 5, food from plants and animals, part 3. In the part 1 and part 2 of the lesson, we learned what are the different food we, uh, materials we get from plants. That is different food uh, from the roots, seeds, leaves and stems, dairy products and animal products. Then we even saw what are uh, how much of proteins, carbohydrates and fats our body require. Then in the second video, we learned about vitamins. That is vitamin A, B, C and D. Now we are going to continue with the lesson. Uh, I request you all to follow the textbook while, uh, while going through the explanation. I am going through with page number 46 in the textbook. So we are going to start with minerals. Our body requires minerals as it requires the vitamins. So the important minerals our body needs are iron, calcium and salt. I-R-O-N, iron, C-A-L-C-I-U-M, calcium, S-A-L-T, salt. Salt you all know that we all use it every day. Iron and calcium will be new for you. So starting with iron, iron is, uh, it is not the iron box that we use every day. This is iron. This mineral is iron. It is found in our blood. Our blood is red color, right? Everybody knows that our blood is red color? Yes. Our blood is red color because of the presence of a component called hemoglobin. H-A-E-M-O-G-L-O-B-I-N. Hemoglobin, which, for, which is formed only with the help of iron. Okay. If we have blood deficiency, it's because we have iron deficiency. Iron keeps our uh, blood running always and it, uh, it is healthy to have the red blood and the red color is because of the presence of a component called hemoglobin, which is shown on where the picture is shown on your screen. It is found in our blood and Iron is present in spinach, methi, coriander, curry leaves and liver of goat and sheep. Especially for people who eat non-veg. Uh, when, uh, when they consume the liver of the goat or sheep, it has high content of iron which helps to improve our blood. So the examples are iron is present in spinach, methi, Coriander. Coriander we use every day. Coriander and curry leaves. Curry leaves we use every day in our life. And liver of goat and sheep. All these things contain high amount of iron in them. Next is calcium. Calcium. C-A-L-C-I-U-M. Calcium. It is necessary for strong bones and teeth. Our, as you saw, calcium is important to keep the bones and our teeth strong. It is white color. Our teeth is white color and our bone is also white color. So calcium is one of the mineral which is very necessary for our bone. It is present in milk, cheese, curd, whole beans, pulses, broccoli, okra and almond. So it is present in milk, cheese, curd, whole beans, pulses, broccoli, okra and almonds these things contain or uh, the good amount of calcium and it is good for our teeth and our bones they keep it keep it, our bones strong if our bones are strong we will also be strong next is salt s a l t salt our body uh, needs salt in very small amounts it, we don't need too much of salt in our body we just need it in a very small amount small salt makes our food tasty now if you taste food uh, which is less salt or if the salt is not added it uh, tastes very differently you can't tell it is very tasty so salt makes our food tasty Iodized salt contain iodine in it. Iodine is also one of the mineral which is essential for our body to grow properly. So, iodized salt, iodine and salt, it is called iodized salt. Uh, now, if you see the advertisement of Tata salt, they will tell this is iodized salt. 
So iodized means iodine is present. I O D I N E. Iodine is present in it. Iodine mineral is very essential for the growth of our body. For if our body should grow properly, we need iodine in our blood. Then um, now, do you remember we studied about minerals last year? Minerals are naturally occurring substances on earth. That is like iron, calcium and salt etc are minerals, right? You may wonder how these minerals enter our food. Well, it is through plants. Minerals are present in the soil. So, and then plants absorb water and minerals, right? Plants absorb water and minerals to make photosynthesis to make their food through their roots. So, plants use water and minerals to make their food food when we eat the plants the mineral from the plant enters our body next we are going to see what is a balanced diet and what are the importance of the balanced diet balanced diet means a balanced diet is a diet that has different types of food and provide adequate amount of nutrients to our body Okay, uh, this is a definition which you need to learn. So, the balanced diet is a diet that has different types of foods and provide adequate amount of nutrients to, uh, which our body needs. Understood? Yes. Now, we are going to learn what is the importance of the balanced diet. Now, why should you, um, as you can see that Different food are rich in different nutrients. So, to get all the nutrients, we should eat a variety of foods, right? So, a balanced diet is a diet that has different types of food and provide adequate amount of nutrients our body needs. Now, lack of any nutrient will make us ill. Okay, we need all those nutrients to our body. Now, as we grow up, what our body needs also changes, right? A, a, what a baby needs is different from what an elder would, elder's body would need. So, do you know why your mother wants you to drink milk every day? I'm sure your mother keeps running behind you, mother or father. They keep running behind you to asking you to drink milk every day. Because milk is good source of protein and calcium which helps to grow big and have strong bones. As I told you, calcium helps keep our bones strong. So, milk has high content of proteins and calcium which is important for the growth of our body and to keep our bones strong. You may see that your parents do not drink as much as milk as you do right you they will ask you to drink more milk and your parents will drink less milk have you ever asked why because they have already grown big and they need proteins only to maintain their body they don't have to grow their body right they just have to maintain their body but for you you have to grow you are still young you are still uh, kids small so if you have to grow you need good amount of protein and calcium in your body that is why you should drink milk every day but you are still growing and you are see uh, you can see your height increasing the in second standard you were shorter now you are taller right so, that is how you know that you are growing. You, you In your school also, we check your height every year. Right? And you can see your height increasing. When your body is growing, it needs more protein and calcium. Therefore, baby food is different from yours. And when you are ill, you get uh, some other food. As we grow older, our body undergoes changes and we should eat according to what our body needs. This will make us healthy and strong. A grown-up person cannot eat the baby's food. Correct? Baby should eat baby's food. A grown-up person should eat grown-up's food. What you require is every day you should drink milk and you should stay healthy. Keep yourself strong and drink milk every day and keep yourself healthy. Now stay at home, stay safe and take care of yourself and stay healthy and drink milk every day children. Thank you very much.